Hey guys, it's Emmanuel, Manny, another video. Hope you guys are doing well. So when I continue the Harry Osborne Green Goblin series, it's going to be part two. I definitely recommend watching part one. Give a quick recap here, but definitely recommend watching it for more details. So in part one, I talked a little bit about Harry, um, his inconsistent relationship with his father, who can be very neglectful. Um, we, we saw that the passing of Emily, Emily Osborne, right? Harry's mother had a big impact on Norman Osborne, right? He deeply loved her. And he became kind of more focused on his business, right? And it seemed, right, this is my analysis, they kind of pushed Harry away a little bit. And just because it's implied that Harry was, you know, might be a reason why she passed away, right? Giving birth to Harry. Um, we're going to see that Norman Osborn is going to give up being the Green Goblin to focus on his son, right? A Harry who becomes sick, right? And becomes basically a drug addict. So eventually, right, Norman Osborn is going to return to being the Green Goblin, right? He's gonna die, right? At his own, um, by his own um, goblin glider. Harry witnesses this, right? And then he swears to avenge his father. Spider Man eventually defeats him, right? He goes after Spider Man and his loved ones. Then he's gonna have like this amnesia episode, and he's gonna be in therapy. So that's where we kind of pick up. And the therapy is going well for Harry, right? So he's kind of readjusting pretty well. He reconnects with Peter and the rest of his social network. He starts to date Liz Allen, right? So things are going pretty well, right? Um, I'll be honest, Harry's really he took a kind of a leave of absence, basically, in the Spider-Man series, right? He was focused on, I can see why he was focused on his therapy. okay? But for the most part, right, he's part of the subplot of the book. And we, and the, we can kind of see him adjusting better. Um, Harry is going to have a kind of a little mental kind of breakdown because Liz Allen um, walks out on him. And then supposedly it's implied that he becomes a Green Goblin, but that is not true, right? Actually, Bart Hamilton, his psychiatrist, right? We thought the therapy was going well, but Bart Hamilton was actually using Harry to gain all the Green Goblin information, right? All the equipment, the hideouts, right? Anything relating to the Green Goblin, because he also wants to be a wannabe crime lord. So eventually Harry, right, he's going to put on the Green Goblin costume to stop him, okay? And then Bart Hamilton kind of dies, right, in this big uh, battle, right? Kind of um, put some of the images here. What's interesting here in terms of analysis is that Harry puts on the costume to stop Bart Hamilton, right? He wants nothing to do with the legacy of the Green Goblin, right? Remember in the first part, he wants to continue his father's legacy. So I think this is very interesting, right? So he's just putting on the costume to stop Bart Hamilton, but it's not like he wants to avenge his father, right, or continue his legacy, Anyway, right. So that's kind of interesting, right? Um, also, Harry's memories, right, of they're being repressed, right? They're not forgotten, right? So, Bart Hamilton, right, a psychiatrist, right? A lot of psychiatrists try to get at these repressed memories, right, to help the person, heal the person. But in this instance, right, he uses Harry's repressed memories, right, for his own benefit. So I thought that was interesting. So Bart Hamilton is not the only one who's going to try to carry the Green Goblin legacy, we're going to see that the Hobgoblin rises, right? So the Hobgoblin is a character, right? Roderick Kingsley, right? Who eventually finds Norman Osborn's hideouts, his journals, right? He repurposes Norman Osborn's equipment, right? And his serum, right? And he becomes the Hobgoblin, right? He wants to kind of rule the underworld, and one of his first deeds is try to blackmail a lot of people who are successful, like Harry, right? So Harry, um, even though he's not part of the underworld, right? His father was part of kind of the underworld of the Green Goblin, so the Hobgoblin tries to blackmail Harry, right? With knowledge of his father being the Green Goblin. Because at this point, right, nobody knows that Norman Osborn, right, was the Green Goblin. Okay, so we can see... Harry, Harry has tried to move on with his family, right? His business and mentally, right? He's in a better place. He's in a better place with Peter Parker and social networks. We're going to see, right, that the others, right, like the uh, Hobgoblin, right, are preventing him from moving on. So in this uh, panel here, we can see that Harry actually confides in Peter and tells him, look, like, you know, I'm being, trying, being blackmailed, right? And we're going to see that Peter is eventually going to help Harry um, you know, as Spider-Man later on in this uh, storyline. Another interesting, I didn't include that panel, but Harry actually confronts 
the hobgoblin, right? He actually punches the hobgoblin. We're going to see it's a robot. But it's interesting, right? You know, kind of Harry kind of standing up to himself. Um, you know, even though the ha the um, hobgoblin, right, is, tr is trying to, you know, blackmail him, right? And trying to ruin his progress. Okay, so that storyline, right? We can see that the hobgoblin basically is unsuccessful but we're gonna see he's gonna attack again right harry starts to experience again more success right things are kind of settling down and again the hobgoblin attacks right the hobgoblin is hunting for is hunting for the remaining norman osborne journals okay so he makes a move on harry and his family right we can see that harry's very distraught like man they're attacking me and my family he kind of feels powerless and again, he blames his father, right? Notice he's blaming him, right? Like, look what you've done to me, your legacy father. You're hurting me and my family, right? Interesting, right? The beginning, again, Harry wants to continue his legacy. But now with a family, right? More settled down, it's a different case, okay? So he targets Harry and his family. We're going to eventually see that he gets the journals. But then we're going to see that those that the Hobgoblin already has that information from those journals, so again, Harry's going to try to move on and yet another Hobgoblin attack, okay? So this is the Jason McIndale Hobgoblin, right? The fourth Hobgoblin. He wants to target Harry and his family because he wants the Goblin Serum, okay? So other Hobgoblins, right? They had the Goblin Serum, which gave them super tr strength. Jason McIndale does not have that, right? He wants that to be a worthy adversary to Spider-Man, right? Just to be more powerful. So he thinks Harry can provide that information. So he actually targets his son, right? Which angers Harry severely, right? And then he becomes the Green Goblin, right? To try to stop um, Jason McIndoe. So the Hobgoblin is, is, is basically defeated later on by Harry, right? And Spider-Man. But again, right? We can see that Harry kind of has that selective amnesia, okay? Um, and then we're going to see Peter's... Parker, or, or Sp aka Spider-Man, right? I'm just gonna tell him, hey Harry, like you, you know, you did great in stopping the Hobgoblin. You should consider being a superhero, right? But Harry says no, right? And later on, right, we're gonna learn that he tells his wife, no, I'm gonna burn the Green Goblin costume. And I'm just gonna focus on my wife. Okay, so that's where we're gonna leave off here, right? So Harry's been harassed by these Hobgoblins. He's trying to move on, right? But they keep, um, you know, trying to continue his father's legacy, right? Not only that, but they want more pieces of his father's legacy, right? These hobgoblins, okay? So, to be continued, okay? So, Harry, we'll see. Is Did Harry move on, right? He Did he burn that Green Goblin costume, move on to his family? Yep, I'm going to spoil it. That's a big no, right? We're going to see in part three... A deeply conflicted Harry and then we're gonna see a very unhinged Harry Osborne as the Green Goblin okay so that'll be part of part three so hoping you guys will join me for that uh, please let me know if you have any questions right um, and you know all that good stuff you guys know that right? please leave a like comment subscribe share check out my other videos right etc and yeah hoping you guys um, join me for the next one take care